How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here. In today's video we have an HTC Desire 626S and we're going to bypass factory reset protection. Uh, this phone was sent to me and they were asking if I could help out so I figured I'd shoot a video on it since I did it. First thing I do is obviously connect to a Wi-Fi. Um, currently there's no SIM card in this device. Uh, you can have it in or out. It really doesn't make any difference. But uh, I just want to go ahead and show you guys that we are locked on right here factory reset protection on this device with previously synced account. So uh, we're going to go back to, actually back to the first Wi-Fi screen, and we're going to escalate privileges into the device. So the easiest way to do that is to add a network, type something in, hold down on it, hit share, and now if this all looks very familiar to you before, you hold long hold on Gmail, um, there's a good reason for it because I've done this process on many devices. Then you go into app settings, and you come up here, and you hit manage account and you hit and continue. There is one thing I do want to show you that's a slightly different in here with an application that I've got that's pretty awesome so you're gonna like it so keep watching for it. Um, so from here we need to get into Chrome. The easiest way to get into Chrome, well, actually let me show you what I've got here in about phone first. So we're gonna to go to software information right here Android 6.0.1 HTC Sense 7, there's your build number so just so you can see what we're working with on this device um, but basically the easiest way to get into Chrome is to use Google, very simply. So you hit uh, search and now, then you hit now cards, you turn now cards on, you say no thanks, and then you just search for Chrome and you launch it. Very, very simple, very easy. This is obviously the Boost Mobile variant. Now this should work on pretty much any variant, it really shouldn't make a difference. Don't worry about updating right there. So then we're just going to go to my site, which is root junkie sdl.com. And then we're going to download a file from my app folder, which is down here, right there. And then we got to go into one more folder after we're in apps, which is my FRP folder, right there. All right. And then we're going to download this application. So we're going to download this right here, com.junkie.frpbypass1.0. So go ahead and allow it to download. Hit OK. And it is downloading. Now, I'm not sure at this point if it's going to give you a pop-up for it or not, but it's not an issue. So we're just going to back out of this. And we're going to go back to Now Cards, turn them back on one more time. And this time we're going to go to Download and launch the download application. Click on the application we downloaded. Go ahead and use package installer just once to install. Hit install. And this should go ahead and install the application on your device. Now, it might be important to turn on unknown sources and security options to install this application. If you do, go back to settings and do it, or it might be a pop-up there. I think mine must already be turned on. So from here, it's very simple. Just open the application. Well, I should hit open, not done. Let's try it again. We'll install one more time. It doesn't hurt it to install it again in case you hit the wrong button like I do. Um, and we'll just install it and then we can open it. There we go. Let's try that way. And shabam, we're bypassing. So from here, it's very simple. Just come up here and go to browser sign in. Hit OK to the terms of agreements here. Put in a Gmail account. It doesn't matter what Gmail account as long as it's your Gmail account. So any Gmail account you have, you could even create a new one and then put it in. It doesn't matter. You just need to sync a Gmail account that you know the account and the password to. So I'm going to go ahead and sync mine up. And it should be signing in. And as soon as it's done, it boots back out. That's it. We just added a Google account to this device. Now, the, probably the best thing to do from here would be to come down here to, well, let's see here. In case we have an issue, where's my accounts? accounts in sync. You might want to make sure that your device sits on for a little bit and it syncs that Google account because that Google account has to be added for this to function correctly. All right. So from here, I would just actually go ahead and reboot the device and restart. And because that Google account has now been added to the device, when you go through the setup process, instead of being stuck by that previously synced account, you're going to say you're already signed into an account and just to continue right on in. So I'll show you that method here once we reboot. All right, there we go. So it uh, went ahead and it started up. So now you can already see there's accessibility settings. Those were grayed out a second ago when we started. So there you can see there's already a difference. So we'll go ahead and hit start. 
and you you can see this is different looking already so we're just going to go ahead and continue to the terms of use here we'll connect to our device we'll set up our time I'm just going to go with next we'll skip lock screen for now skip anyway we'll agree to finish and setup wizard complete and you should be in the device let's see here there we go we are in we have completely bypassed frp we've added our account now if you want to get rid of this device or you want to completely clean slate and not have an, another account synced to this device in the background um, we can do a full wipe from settings here but really at this point you're in you're done you're, you have full access to device but I'm going to go ahead and do a factory set from settings and then then when you go through setup it'll be you can put in any account you want so to do that you just got to come into where's backup and reset come on backup and reset and reset phone oh there it goes it does take a little bit for the reset to take place and it's rebooting right now to do a wipe data factory reset so that's it you bypassed it now we've reset it from settings with it not tripped on frp that's all you really need to do and that should be good when this thing reboots we'll have to we can go through setup just like it's a brand new phone out of box and you can add any google account to the device at this point that's the process um very awesome this is hc desire 626s this is on boost mobile i'm assuming this process will work on lots of these devices so if you're looking for this video now you've got it very very simple process i hope you guys like that application very cool forget the shortcut widget maker you just launch that sucker and you're in no more extra steps trying to make it simple for you guys to get past this security feature on these devices um that's gonna wrap it up for me i'm gonna let this thing reboot and i just want to give a quick shout out to jared the guy who sent it to me thanks a lot buddy love uh, making these videos and i'm glad i could help you out with this and we'll catch you guys in the next one root junkie out all right i just had to show you so after 10 minutes of boot up here and updating android is updating applications and restarts and all the stuff that takes to factor reset i'm just going to show you we can now go ahead and get this phone fully functioning and log in like normal which is awesome and no accounts are synced in frp frp is turned off um, we can just go right through it skip anyway to not even using wi-fi you don't even have to um, so we should be able to just get right through the login sequence, the setup, and you should be in the phone. So I'm just going to show you that we are functional and we have fully bypassed it. As you can see, I'm not even adding a Google account or anything. I'm just, I'm just getting it. Skip for now. And uh, come on, come on, come on. Sure, why not? Personalizing done. And you're in you didn't even connect to Wi-Fi there you go just wanted to show you that last little bit I think it's important to see that it is fully functional and all of the FRP stuff is completely removed off the device um, it is lagging a little bit here obviously to get the uh, uh, icons to pop up but um, let's just see if we can help that process along a little bit sometimes up oh, there we go okay so there you go that is the method and I hope you guys enjoyed the video Catch you in the next one.